In an industry that suffers from overload of the words new, original and exciting, the Megan Scenic, the latest addition to the Megan family from Renault, is a bit of a wondrous thing because it actually is new. It's an exciting concept and it's original, both in terms of design, because of the fact that there's nothing quite like it on the market yet. I think that uh, the market is changing dramatically right now and uh, the days are over of cars where you are hoping to make 3,000 a day and sell 3,000 a day. Uh, it's a market which is a market of, uh, of, of offer rather than demand and so therefore you really have to understand your customer and clearly with the Scenic we have, we, are, we have a vehicle which is so different to anything which has been built so far. There's been a craze for MPVs of course but they are a little bit too expensive for the average family and with the Scenic we're offering a new type of car for European families and I think it's going to go really well. Are you hoping, hoping to open the market up much in the same way as the hatchback did for the 60s? Absolutely. Uh, if I look at the way that uh, the response has been in the first days of sale, we've had uh, more than 7,000 orders and I think a thousand of those were with, before the prices were known. So I think that we are, we are clearly going to open up a new era and the enthusiasm that we had at the last Paris Motor Show was, we have never lived anything like that before. It's quite an exciting time for it you. Is. It is, it is. The car market is very crowded. Are you, are you confident enough that the niche is there for the scenic? Well, I don't think it's a niche. I really think that uh, the future of the automobile is oriented towards the scenic type of vehicle and that the ordinary five-door uh, five hatch will eventually become a niche segment. I think the, the industry is going towards this type of vehicle. What else can we expect to see from the McGann family? Because this is the third one that's sort of out of the stable now, isn't it? So how, how far are you going to go? Okay, well, we'll definitely uh, have a convertible, a roadster type convertible, which uh, is coming out next year. And then one more definite vehicle will be a station wagon, which will appeal to in certain parts of the world, probably more so uh, in certain countries. For example, Italy, it's a country where the in-car is a station wagon and other countries around South America and other places. What's the thinking behind this kind of um, school of collective design? Well, the idea is quite simple. Basically, the market is breaking up into this sort of focus, uh, customer focusing. And so we try to really identify the different type of customers. We try to make uh, cars which are uh, affordable, namely we share a lot of components. Between a, a, a five-door Megane and a Scenic, there are still 40% of components which are common, which means that we can build all these different type of vehicles at a very economic, for us, you know, reasonable uh, prices and therefore offer them at a reasonable price. It's, it's the IKEA concept, isn't it? Everything sort of under the one roof, really. Absolutely. And the other thing, of course, why we kept the name and why we keep a certain family identity is to, to get the presence on the market. It's very, you know, it's very, very expensive to get a name known within, a Europe, on, uh, within Europe. You know, it costs a lot of money. If we, on each vehicle we had found a new name, it would have been a horrendously expensive uh, experience. So this is the way that we've done it with a minimum cost, designing a complete family of cars which appeals to a very, very wide range of people. Well, I'm going to stick my neck out a bit here and say that this car we're sitting in is my car of the show, which is the Renault Scenic. Um, it's based on a hatchback, the Megane hatchback, which is quite familiar now. Um, but it has the extra space of a mini MPV, um, has five seats, drives like a car, and it only costs about a £1,000 more than a regular hatch. It's, it's full of so many good ideas. It's got um, cubby holes under the floor. It's got the extra um, three-point seat belt in the middle of the back of the, of the seat, which is unusual for an MPV. Um, the whole thing feels like a kind of modern lifestyle vehicle. But they say that 20% of their Espace sales are the five-seat only vehicle, so they think that a lot of people like the extra versatility of an MPV but don't necessarily need the extra two seats for the seven-seat option. So I think they probably hit the nail on the head, and a lot of manufacturers are following suit. We know that Ford are working on a, a similar vehicle on their new Escort platform, Fiat are working on one, VW for the new Golf platform. So just as the Espace took the world by storm about 10 years ago, I think this may do the same thing.